Looks great, sounds great. So Aoife Roche, yep. and uh, this is your first time at Tech Alley. It is. So what brings you out here to Tech Alley today? Um, so I've just recently relocated to Vegas. So I've taken on another AI project. So I have two, I run a marketing agency. I have my own AI company and I've taken on a, another big AI project here. And I met Jackson and Jackson okay. said, you have to come to Tech Alley. He's like, this is gonna be right up your street. So I'm here to, Look to build my network here in Vegas because it's all. I've just moved from Los Angeles. So. Yeah, I saw the three one zero area code yeah. on your cell phone <laughs> yeah. number on the release, and yeah. said she must be an Angelino. So, yeah. so, so you are in marketing. You have one AI company back in Los Angeles. You are involved in another AI project here. Yeah. Where Where do you want to start? What do you want to start with? To, I don't know. To, to, about so we can help build your network <laughs> online. Where do you want to start? Do you want to start with the marketing, the AI? Yeah, I think let's talk about AI, right? Because we're talking about tech and mm -hmm. what's super exciting in the AI space right now um, so the project that I've come here to, to Vegas to work on we're building out a fully fledged um, system that has a private LLM right because one of the biggest challenges we see is people are now getting very concerned about their data mm -hmm. right? you know everyone jumped on the chat GPT bandwagon very early on without looking at the consequences of information so the we're building out a, an entire system where you can load up all of your data multimodal and you'll be able to decide whether you want to use your own data in a private llm mm -hmm. and leverage all of the ai to do that or whether you want to just reach out to chat gpt and the other modals so that's called ask for why and that's uh that's our platform now that we're getting ready to okay. launch here which is exciting. and what's the are you guys in beta what's your status are you guys live on that yeah so we work where i have a wait list of people we, we have about 800 people okay. signed up right now ready to go so we're just building out and stabilizing the platform and then we should mm -hmm. be ready for launch in the next and, few weeks. And is there an ideal customer you have for that or what? who, who is this for? Is yeah, so what we really want to do is we want to um, demystify AI for the small to medium business owners, okay. right? And creating a, like a one-stop shop. Mm -hmm. So we have the idea of having the private LLM for your suite. So you can load up all of your data, customer information, sales records, everything that can be interrogated, mm -hmm. but also giving them the flexibility to know if they are integrating AI in their business, that their their employees don't have to be so worried about, oh, what if I leak this data and what if I do that? So, right, so first employees, please don't leak data. Yeah. <laughs> don't leak data. I do. Like I had, I spoke to some of the last and they said, oh, we had an amazing guy came in and he loaded all of our CRM up into ChatGPT. I was like, mm -hmm. With all of your customer information, and mm -hmm. names, addresses, and phone numbers, it's probably, don't and, do that. And now <laughs> it belongs to the world. <laughs> yeah. You know, because it's, it's in the name, yeah. right? It's mm -hmm. open AI. Right, absolutely. Know? So I think that that's really, we want to demystify it for people. And we want to run a bunch of AI workshops here to really help people. Because people know they need to do something. Well, if but you no, guys if you guys run any workshops and you'd like us to come live course, stream from your workshop, you we would come, love to do let's that. Let's do that, right? Because, yeah, I'd, my goal right now is to start running a workshop a month here in Vegas. A two-day event, so I would love for you guys to. Come we would love, we would love to come and do some interviews with people and, and talk to people. So I have a question because I know a little bit about AI, kind of enough to be dangerous. I'm using it for my business. So you've created this closed-world AI for people to protect their data. Exactly. But one of the real advantages of AI is to be able to reach out to the rest of the world and to incorporate all the knowledge of the rest of the world. Mm -hmm. So does your platform? How how does how does someone like me? who wants to protect some data, but also wants to be able to take advantage of the knowledge of all of human history at the same time and incorporate those things. How do we do that? Yeah, so what we're doing, we're building it where you're going to be able to choose where you pull your data from. Okay. So if you only want the data to be your own data, you'll be able to toggle on and off that it's only searching your unique database. Mm -hmm. If you wanted to search wide, then you don't toggle a knowledge base and it will go out and search for large language. Okay, words. okay. So we're, and then we have, we're not, we're going to have like all of the LLM. So uh, like from ChatGPT to mm -hmm. Thor to Perplexity to all of these are all going to be loaded in. So you don't have to have a million subscriptions because that's the next problem people have. They're like, oh, which, uh, which model do I actually work on? Mm -hmm. So we have them all integrated into the platform and it'll make the decision for you which, which model you think is going to give you the best response. That's fantastic. I really love that. Mm -hmm. I love that it's, that it's looking out for you. 